Hi everyone, it's Shante and welcome to my fitness journey. This is the beginning of my fitness journey. Uh, this is me getting ready, um, putting on my shoes. Excuse my shoes. Not only are these my workout shoes, these are also my work shoes as well. Um, they kind of serve an all sort of all purpose uh, type of shoe. Here you see me um, going to brush my teeth. It is 6.30. Oh, actually, no. I was actually putting lotion on. I'm sorry. And then I'm be, you know, brushing my teeth. Um, it is 6.30 in the morning. This workout that I'm about to start. Um, my goal is to start working out at 4 o'clock in the morning. You know, get it early and out of the way. I know you're probably thinking, like, why 4 o'clock? I have two kids. I have two toddlers. I have a one-year-old and a three-year-old. So um, soon they're going to be in daycare and I want to work out before they go to school. But here is the gym. I am at a hotel right now. So I'm using the facility at the hotel that I am staying at. Um, this is a pretty nice gym. Here um, you see that I'm going to start stretching, right? Now while I'm stretching, I want to say, right? Here's a picture of me when I first start playing organized basketball. This is when I start playing AAU. I believe I was like 12. And here is a picture of me playing basketball in college. So from the age of 12 all the way until like college, I played basketball. So I've been fit majority of my life. It's just once I stopped playing basketball in 2012, I completely got off of my, um, basically like my fitness, my health and wealth. Now here, I just want to prove to you guys that um, I started this fitness journey way before, you know, the new year. I went to Orange Theory and did a free class. Um, they whipped my behind. I can't believe how intense that class was just for a trial. Like, y'all didn't even, even allow me a chance to, to break in. But excuse my kids in the background, y'all. So, yeah, while I'm stretching, right, you know... I've had two kids in the past three years. So, like, my body has completely changed. And, like, I have uh, gained a considerable amount of weight. Here, you're going to see that I weigh 220 pounds. I'm only 5'4". So, I'm, like, way overweight. Um, but at the facility, they have, like, workouts on their screen. And you can follow their workouts. And I'm just showing you guys the workout. I'm actually going to be doing, like, a kettlebell workout that you're going to kind of see like later down the road in this video um but yeah they got mobility hit yoga um pretty good um selections to work out um so here you have uh, me running on the treadmill excuse my t my uh my i'm sorry y'all just glad to see that it's part of the the journey you're gonna see my booze hopping up and down okay so here you see me doing some curls um this whole entire workout i freestyled um i was just thinking like what i want to do off the top of my head like i said i've been like in sports like i, I played basketball i ran track excuse my kids in the background um yeah those are the only two sports i played um basketball and i ran track so like of course, we did, like, conditioning. We did weightlifting. So, like, I know what it takes to, like, get fit. I just got, like, really lazy after I stopped playing basketball. Because I just wanted to be a regular person. You know what I'm saying? I didn't want to be a athlete anymore. But um, because of that, you know, I've gained a considerable amount of weight. And also, I've been dealing with some health conditions, such as high blood pressure and um high blood sugar so trying to get back to being healthy i'm not too worried about being super fit i just want to be healthy because you know health is wealth um we're going to be going into me doing some other exercise i forgot the name is exercise with the dumbbells these are five pound uh, i'm starting off really light i'm not doing nothing super heavy i'm not trying to hurt myself you're also gonna see in this video where like my form may be off or you see me trying to correct my form 
that's like pretty typically normal when you like step back into working out like your form may be off because your muscles aren't used to doing those exercises but as you continue to do those exercises your form will get better and um i'm like way heavier so in with the weight that i have on me it makes it kind of hard to do certain exercises the proper way but as i continue to slim down um my form will correct itself so here i'm doing some other exercise with actually i, I want to say i started to do one of their workouts and um i ended up switching it up because it was moving too fast um this one is another workout i clicked on um yeah, this is the workout. When it, went, it went from the dumbbells and then we went to the floor. I'm like, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's too fast for me. So I ended up switching the workout um, to the kettlebell. You're going to see me with the kettlebell here. So I went to the kettlebell. Um, am I, I don't even know if I'm saying that right. I think it is a kettlebell. Um, I'm switching to that workout that's on the actual screen that I showed you guys earlier in the video. So yes, man, health is wealth, okay? I'm trying to get back healthy. Um, I really want to achieve um, a weight loss goal to 180 pounds. Um, I feel like I want to do 150, but I feel like that's way too extreme. But um, I wouldn't mind, you know, aiming for that, you know? Um, but yeah, see me doing this kettlebell swing um i'm actually tomorrow i'm going back into the gym um and i'm going to do like a full kettlebell workout i'm gonna i'm gonna post that as well um because i like that i like workouts that has resistance like um like with bands and weights you know um also like doing workouts that you use your body weight as well or just like you know the dumbbells um i'm and I also like workouts like where it's also cardio as well. So it gets my heart rate up. Um, it gets me sweating. So that will substitute for running like on the treadmill and like just like walking or running because I cannot stand running on a treadmill, on a trail or running period. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I am going to start like running like miles and trying to get my time down my miles that'd be like the only cardio i would do but um all my exercises will like basically have weights and resistance and will be like hit basically like high intense workouts that like, i'm doing right now but yeah um i must definitely appreciate you guys for tuning in um on my fitness journey um it's going to be an exciting year um, to get back in shape. It's been a long time for me, and I'm ready this time. I'm really ready. I feel motivated mentally, physically, and spiritually um, to get back healthy. Um, I hope this motivates you guys to get out there and get moving. Um it says a body that is in motion stays in motion, and that's very important. As we grow older, um, you do not want to lose that mobility. Um, even if it's just simply walking five minutes a day, there actually was an older man in my neighborhood. He was walking on the sidewalk in front of his, in his apartment building, and he would just walk down with, with his cane. And he'll touch the end of the sidewalk and he'll pick up his cane and walk back. So just small things like that, getting moving, um, staying moving. Um, I know it kind of gets hard, especially when you have kids, when you're working. Um, if you're like a caregiver, if you're just like a super busy person, um, it's really hard to get working and get moving. But a little bit counts. So. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for tuning in. Y'all have a good one.